Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. What a morning it's been. I mean, we just had the cybersecurity expert, the go-to person, head of LazarusAlliance.com. Later on in the show, we're going to talk with the innovator in the electric vehicle industry, TorqueTrends.com. And we're also going to have Sir Richard Branson on our show. But now, I'm hungry. You know when you're at the mall or the airport and you could smell the sweet cinnamon? I mean, we're talking like from a mile away. Oh, yeah. Our next guest is the president of Cinnabon, Joe Guth, and can be reached at Cinnabon.com or, of course, Alliances.com. Joe, why are we addicted to your cinnamon rolls? What makes them so good? Well, it was about 30 years ago where um, Greg and Rich Komen, along with Gerilyn Brousseau, set out to, uh, you know, with one simple mis- mission, which is to make the world's best cinnamon roll. And uh, they did exactly that. They went through, gosh, I don't know how many different versions of, of, uh, of, of the product itself and scoured the earth for the right type of cinnamon that is now Makara cinnamon that we source from Sumatra. But uh, we've stayed true to that brand, and it's it's just phenomenal. We fresh fresh bake every 30 minutes, and and as you well know, the smell is what draws people in, and we deliver when it comes to uh, having the world's best cinnamon roll. Now, I'd be a hero in my home if I was the president of Cinnabon, since my family would basically require me to bring samples home from work daily. How does someone become like the president of Cinnabon? I mean, what was your 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 short version journey to be able to get to where you are and be so successful? Well, it's never it's, it's in most people's journey uh, to to positions like this. It's never a straight line. But uh, I have a, a good bit of history in the consumer segment, um, most notably uh, ten years with Coca Cola Company, as well as uh, several years with KFC and Yum Brands which uh, well prepared me for, for this role. In fact, yes, let's talk about that, because you've consulted with other brands too, Coca-Cola, Intel, Kentucky Fried Chicken. In fact, we even had the chairman of Yum Brands on the show, Staples, Molson Coors Brewing, the list goes on. What, though, were your initial expectations going into your career, and maybe how has your journey changed as you've progressed through it? Well, I think initially when I started out, I, I really – had a pension for marketing and advertising, and I think I quickly started to gravitate towards just more of general business and, and strategy. Um, I started my first few roles in marketing, but then quickly realized that great marketers are great business people, uh, and it's not just about the advertising or the marketing itself, but, but being able to pull together a product or service that's highly desirable and delivering in a way that is just superior to alternatives in the marketplace. And being able to architect that from a from a financial standpoint, but more importantly from a from a people standpoint, um, and that's probably been more of what I've encountered as I've gone further along in my career is really understanding the value of the team uh, and the people that you bring into the team is what is able to bring those first couple notions around that product surface uh, product or service um, to life, if you will. So it's the people that are the secret. Absolutely. As I say to my team uh, on many occasions, great brands are made by great people. You're listening to Alliance's Heroes, and we have Joe Guth. This is the president of Cinnabon, you know, that you see in almost every single mall and airport and that you could smell a mile away. Go to where entrepreneurs align. Be part of the community, alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com, where you may have the opportunity to be on our hero show with me, David Kogan. Now, you're doing amazing things with Cinnabon. I mean, you're implementing major advancements, including partnerships that were just recently announced with Apple and Revel, as well as a complete redesign of the storefront. I mean, you push the brand, and I love it. How does partnering with other companies benefit your company, though? And maybe you could tell us briefly about those two partnerships with Apple and Revel. So I think what what is really 
key to understanding in, in a world of ever-changing technology and consumer trends is to really understand your place in that world. And our place is delivering phenomenal wow experiences through our cinnamon rolls and extensions thereof. Our, our role is not to be a technologist. Our role is not to uh, define consumer behavior, but adapt to it and continue to stay relevant. And so along those lines, that's why we've updated the logo, updated the store concept, and partnered with people like Revel and Apple because they are at the heart of those consumer trends and technology. And by doing so, that will allow us to better deliver that wow service and wonderful uh, world-famous cinnamon roll in more relevant ways, in a faster way, a better way than we would normally be able to do. So it's really about us doing what we do best, even better. Now, I'm getting a bunch of hits on our social media, and they're saying, ask them about this, ask them about this. I got to ask you, bond bites, bond bites. What's all the talk going on about bond bites? So bond bites is been, it's been around for about 10 or 15 years, but it's always been in pockets. Cinnabon, and it was just recently in the past month or so that we pushed it into a national launch. So the premise behind it really was that people are looking for things that are different portion sizes, maybe more permissible, something that's more portable that doesn't necessarily require a knife and fork like our classic cinnamon roll. And so it's, it's just creating that other occasion and opportunity to engage with a brand that people love. And, you know, for us, it's been probably the most successful product launch that we've had in the last 20 years. Do you just smile when you go into some of these malls and you see Cinnabon? I mean, what, what, what goes through your mind? Well, I'll tell you, I was out in uh, a Cinnabon in the Bay Area just uh, last week. And uh, to see it, I, I'd been to it before, only like two or three months before, and to see it remodeled with our fresh new look, and still displaying those world famous cinnamon rolls, it it, it it definitely makes me smile because it it it's a brand that's iconic, and we're we're bringing it back in a way that people will love even more. So um, yes, it always brings a smile to my face. Now, Joe, as the president of Cinnabon, what is the most important advice you feel that parents can share or instill with their children, like you have with your two kids, Jack and Abby? to live a full and productive life like you have and continue to do? I think it comes back to one of the things that I mentioned around the business itself is, is, is treating people well um, and treating people like you like yourself to be treated um, and, and the value of people and, and team, um, regardless of what profession uh, you decide to pursue, I think those lessons transcend um, industries and certainly have been a key to my success. Now, we've got a little less than a minute left, but I need to ask you about the board of directors that you're on that's part of the Affordable Housing in Atlanta. What do you do, and, and why did you decide to be on the, their board of directors? Well, the Affordable Housing Initiative uh, indicator, Georgia, they uh, certainly started in terms of providing affordable housing to those in need. But the reason I joined was because of an offshoot that they've developed called Reloom, which then actually provides life and employment uh, skills for uh, women, largely women who are at risk, women who have children who have been in difficult domestic situations. Uh, and they, they, they employ them by allowing them to upcycle or basically take uh, textiles that have been um, thrown away or are no longer useful and weaving them into products that can be sold, such as rugs, um, purses, scarves. And so I think it's, it's a really fantastic program that I think not only helps people who are in need, but is also sustainable because it's an actual business in terms of it's producing products, it's, it's giving people life skills, while at the same time helping those in need. And I really think that's the way forward for philanthropy. Excellent. Well, I got to tell you, Joe, you bring joy to millions with your sweet treats at Cinnabon. Go to Cinnabon.com, the president of Cinnabon, and continue to innovate and build relationships and partners to help build the community and support those less fortunate through your philanthropic effort. Joe, you're a hero. Cinnabon.com. And later on, we're going to be talking with Sir Richard Branson about his new projects and secrets and also the electric car innovator, Torque Trends. Thank you very much. David Kogan with Eliances.